2022 almost complete, and it's brought tons of new horror movies to get our hearts pumping. Whether you're a horror movie lover, or are just trying to throw a scary movie marathon with your besties and need some new picks, you'll be beyond the please because the fright factor of this year's horror movies has not disappointed. Hence, today I brought this video about the 10 best horror movies released in 2022, including some of the upcoming releases in this Halloween season. So I strongly recommend you to watch the entire video so that you won't miss out on anyone on the list. Number 10. Pray for the Devil In response to a global rise in demonic possessions, the Catholic Church reopens exorcism schools to train priests in the rite of exorcism. On this spiritual battlefield, an unlikely warrior rises, a young nun, Sister Anne, played by Jacqueline Byers. Although nuns are forbidden to perform exorcisms, a professor recognizes Sister Anne's gifts and agrees to train her. Thrust onto the spiritual front line with fellow student Father Dante, Sister Anne finds herself in a battle for the soul of a young girl who Sister Anne believes is possessed by the same demon that tormented her own mother years ago, and she soon realizes the devil has her right where he wants her. Pray for the Devil is coming in theatres on October 28th of this year. Number 9. Hatching The story follows Tinja, a young girl who wants nothing more than to impress her rigid mother. Tern is determined to build a perfect family she wants to show the world through her social media accounts. Things turn dark when the girl finds an egg, decides to hide it in her bedroom, and inadvertently hatches a gruesome creature that looks more like her each day. Hatching is not trying to be subtle, and it reveals quickly how the creature manifests all the anger and sorrow Tinja keeps locked inside while trying to please her mother. That doesn't prevent Hatching from being a highly effective cautionary tale about the dangers of raising a child to fit the internet's twisted idea of perfection. With 6.2 rating on IMDb and 92% score on Rotten Tomatoes, Hatching is available to watch on Prime Video, Hulu and other platforms based on the country. Number 8. Glorious Glorious has one of the most curious concepts of the year. What if you found a Lovecraftian Elder God? Most unlikely place? Let's say a glory hole in the bathroom of a rest stop by the side of the road? Glorious is well aware of the absurd situation it presents and that self-consciousness is what allows it to be as funny as it is. There are real stakes in Glorious, as a random man discovers he might be the key saving the universe from total obliteration. But Glorious is ready to laugh about the idea of finding purpose in the most disgusting place in the world. While the movie is mainly a horror-infused comedy, Glorious understands perfectly well what makes Lovecraftian creatures so scary by hiding enough information so that we can fill it in with our terrible nightmares. With 5.5 rating on IMDb and 87% score on Rotten Tomatoes, Glorious is available to stream on Prime Video in selected nations. Number 7. Halloween Ends As long as the holiday of All Hallows' Eve continues to be celebrated, the Halloween film franchise will continue to be a horror classic. Since the original John Carpenter movie released in 1978, serial killer Michael Myers has been a mainstay of movie nightmares. This is Laurie Strode's last stand. After 45 years, the most acclaimed, revered horror franchise of the film history reaches its epic, terrifying conclusion as Laurie Strode faces off for the last time against the embodiment of evil Michael Myers in a final confrontation unlike any captured on screen before. Only one of them will survive. The icon Jamie Lee Curtis returns for the last time as Laurie Strode, horror's first final girl, and the role that launched Curtis's career. The movie is coming in theatres on 14th of October. Number 6. Incantation Taiwanese filmmaker Kevin Ko's latest slow burn horror film, Incantation, has touted itself as the scariest Taiwanese film ever made. Inspired by a true story involving a family of cult worshippers in Kaohsiung, Taiwan, the film was shot in a mockumentary style interspersed with found footage and actors breaking the fourth wall to address the audience. The film that bridges traditionally Taiwanese elements with contemporary horror employs the trope of a cursed video tale woman named Lee Ronan narrates the film, imploring the viewer to memorize an insignia and chant an incantation to send blessings and lift a curse on her six-year-old daughter. Incantation set the record for the highest-grossing Taiwanese horror film of all time. 
film got 6.2 rating on IMDb and 63% score on Rotten Tomatoes, and it's available to stream on Netflix. Number 5. Barbarian Barbarian, a new horror film from 20th Century Studios, explores what could happen when your Airbnb has a secret door and passageways lurking beneath the surface. Barbarian opens with a relatively straightforward conceit. A young woman named Tess has booked an Airbnb in a rundown suburb of Detroit because she has a job interview the next day. When she arrives at the house, she discovers that the rental has been double booked and there's already a man named Keith living there. Tess is understandably uneasy and much of the tension in the first half of the movie comes from her concern that Keith may be trying to harm her in some way. Against her better judgement, she decides to spend the evening but soon discovers that there's a lot more to fear than just an unexpected house guest. With 7.6 rating on IMDb and 92% score on Rotten Tomatoes, Barbarian is coming in HBO Max on 28th October of this year. Number 4. Hellraiser in this Clive Barker's seminal Hellraiser franchise, a young woman must confront the sadistic, supernatural forces behind an enigmatic puzzle box responsible for her brother's disappearance. The puzzle box is called the Lament Configuration. When completed, it opens a door to a realm beyond pain and pleasure where you'll come face to face with extra-dimensional beings who specialize in suffering known as Cenobites, explorers in the further regions of experience demons to some, angels to others. Sense8 and designated Survivor star Jamie Clayton is playing Pinhead in this Hellraiser reboot. The film recently received its MPAA age rating. To the shock of nobody, it's been rated R for strong bloody horror violence and gore language throughout, some sexual content and brief graphic nudity. The movie is coming in Hulu on October 7th. Number 3. Pearl as a prequel to the movie X, we were introduced to Pearl long before she became the old woman of that movie, when she was young, had her wit, and her parents were alive. Back then, her dreams of grandeur were still alive and felt obtainable. She was young, optimistic, had drive, and just wanted a way to get off her family's farm. Howard was supposed to be her way out when he worked at the farm, and auditioning for a travelling dance troupe was another. But with a rare kind word said to her, she is the only one who believes in herself and the weight of possibilities is sometimes so hard to bear that any disappointment is like a hit to the knees. Pearl learned about so many ways to get freedom, but as X shown, people always got in her way. Pearl's ambitions, temptations and repressions all collide to horrific effect. Film got 7.5 rating on IMDb and 89% Rotten Tomatoes score and it's available in the theatres nearby. Number 2. Smile A smile can have many meanings. It can be sardonic, kind, forced and, in the case of Smile, the horror film written and directed by Parker Finn, downright terrifying. Based on Finn's 2020 short Laura Hasn't Slept, in which the protagonist refuses to sleep because of the smiling man she sees in her dreams, Smile takes that concept and expands on it, often to great effect. The horror film boasts a strong central performance and, even while its exploration of trauma and mental illness remain at surface level, the jump scares and intrigue are haunting enough to free afloat. After witnessing a bizarre, traumatic incident involving a patient, Dr. Rose Cotter starts experiencing frightening occurrences that she can't explain. As an overwhelming terror begins taking over her life, Rose must confront her troubling past in order to survive and escape her horrifying new reality. With 7 IMDb rating and 77% Rotten Tomato score, Smile is now available to watch in nearby theatres. Number 1. The Black Phone The Black Phone is a coming-of-age supernatural horror film directed by Scott Derrickson. Scott Derrickson is majorly known for directing some good horror movies like Sinister and Hellraiser Inferno. Based on the short story of the same name, written by Joe Hill, the son of Stephen King, The Black Phone chronicles a suspenseful tale of the Grabber, a child killer who snatches teen boys in broad daylight never to be seen again. When Finney becomes the next captive held in a soundproof basement, phone calls from the Grabber's previous victims through a disconnected landline. The Black Phone currently stands as one of the most talked about and best rated horror films of the year, with 7 rating on IMDb and 82% Rotten Tomatoes score, and now available to watch on Amazon Prime Video. So which is your favourite horror movie of 2022? Do let me know in the comments. Until then, I will see you in the next video.